I'm here with Alex Hogue, and he's going to be sharing how to make some video carousels for social media. Let's go ahead and hop into Express. So you have kind of your stuff over here, and I wanted to add some of my brand elements to it. So I made a folder here for my, my brand, and then come in here, and you can create a new project. So we selected Instagram square post. On Instagram, you can do 1080 by 1080, yeah. but I wanted the portrait mode for carousel, which yeah. is 1080 by 1350. So I'm just going to hit resize. Up here in this upper right corner, we can view all of our pages. For the purpose of today, I'm only going to focus on two. Go to media, upload from this device. So it brings in your Boom. image. Boom, it's here. And it's just click and drag, really. Let's go ahead and bring in the other two the videos. videos. So we okay. can bring in, let's see if it'll even bring in both. There we go. So we'll bring two in two videos. at a time. What happens at the bottom here, now we have this timeline. Um, and we can toggle on and off to show layer timing. Over on this side, uh, this button here will show the layers so you can easily select. So I'm just going to grab both of them and do it at the same time because I want them to be kind of uniform. Mm -hmm. And let's just drag them, make them a little bit bigger, maybe something nice. like that. You could just search in here, honestly, and, and type in, you know, yeah, you can rectangle search. border. And this might come up with a, a ton something of different options you could yeah. bring in here. How do we get a white, simple border on here? Duplicate this video clip. Interesting. And then I'm going to kind of line it up, which is easy. It just snaps. And then we come over here to effects. And we're just going to come into this custom here. And then we're going to change the shadows to be white. And we're going to change the highlights to be white. So now we just have a white box. We just need to drag this layer underneath. And then now we have this nice little and it snaps easily, which is cool. Yeah. Duplicate that again. I just hit Control D, and we can just drag it under this other one. But I wanted to have a bit of the next image overlap only on the first slide. Hit that button at the top. We see our other pages here. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the second page. And we're going to go ahead and bring in the image that you're going to overlap. Let's say that's our background for slide mm -hmm. two. And if I come up here, I can duplicate the page. Kind of that horse's head is where we, we cut stuff off. Yeah. I'm just going to drag this over a little bit more. I'm just going to select. Oh, it snaps right on the edge there perfectly. Yes. And then I just grab this and slide and it over. And bring it in. You're saying we can copy that from here and paste it in here. Paste it, yeah. <gasps> Look at that. Boom, and it's in And then the we just spot. move it under, and it's perfect. Animation. So we can set ins. We can loop things. Let's just say we wanted it to slide in. Mm -hmm. So now it slides in on top. And that works. I think it would look better if we did this one at the same time. If they both slid in, yeah, then they would look like in unison. Exactly. So let's see okay. if that'll play. Boom. That worked out, so yeah. Let's just go ahead and click that. It's so Look at handy. that. And then maybe we bring in another layer for the background. For the background, yeah. Maybe this one here. We can come into, um, you have all these effects and adjustments we can do here. We can adjust the contrast of that background image. Maybe the saturation, we kind of bring it all the way down. You can make it black and white if you mm -hmm. wanted to, to make her pop more. You can come into brands and libraries under your stuff. I actually saved all of my logos and my color palettes, the fonts, everything Thank, is here. You're like thanking old you like for loading this because exactly. now it I makes know, every project so, so it's like, easy. Maybe I just bring in my logo here. And like, if you wanted to put something up here, kind of in the background, we have all these elements here. So I think what I searched for was something like arrow. We can change all these effects. We can, you know, set back to our custom colors. If you don't have all the media you want, like maybe we wanted to find a different background here. Um, there are stock, Adobe stock stuff. Honestly, I kind of like this since we were going for that kind of black background. Yeah. Let Adobe Express create your next photo dump. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.